Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'll teach you how to search for a value inside a binary search tree. So the first thing you need to do is to identify a number. So let's say I want to look for the number 60. You start from the root node, which is 52, and then you check whether or not the value 60 is larger than 52. If it is larger than 52, you go to the right. If it's lower than the, uh, the number 52, you go to the left. So in this case, 60 is indeed larger than 52. So you go right and you find here the value 61. You do the same thing. You compare 61 to 60. You find that 60 is smaller than, uh, than 61. So you go here. And finally, when you check for this one, you find that this is in fact the number. So let's have a demonstration, quick demonstration of how that works. Okay. There. Starts out at 52 at the root node, it compares and then it moves on um, to 61, then it moves on to 60, and then it found it. So, this is how it works conceptually. Now, let's code it. All right, so the coding part. In this part of the code, we're going to build a tree and then we're going to write the uh, uh, find method, which looks for a number inside a, a, a binary search tree and then returns uh, the value true or the value false for if it exists or not. So if, for example, if you write uh, 20, it's supposed to return back true because it is in the binary search tree. If we write, say 100, well, it's not here. So it's gonna return false. If we write 200, it's gonna return false because it is not there. So let's uh, build a tree. Well, to build a tree, we're going to need to create a node and uh, so for, for example, the root node here is 10, it has a value, it has a left child, and it has a right child. So let's do that. Self.value equal value, and self.left equal none, self.right equal none, right? Like this, you just perfectly describe the new root node. It has a value, which is 10, it has a left child, which is six, and you have a right child, which is uh, 15. In this case, we keep it as none, and the reason for that is because we want to keep it general for all the nodes, okay? And we're going to assign left and right, uh, in fact, right now. So after we create the uh, binary, er, the root node, we, uh, and all the other nodes, we have to link them up together. And you have node1.left is equal to node2, node1.right is equal to node3, et cetera, et cetera. And just like that, you have built a binary search tree. So let's have a look at it there. Everything is as it should be. Okay, so now let's look for the value 20. Okay, so as we saw in the conceptual um, um, part of this video, the theoretical part of this video, um, we need to start from the root node and see if whether or not the value that we have is larger than 10 or smaller than 10. So let's do that. So value if so we start at the root node i'm going to name it the current node okay and it's here in this case itself and what the self means basically is the current object right which is node one okay so while current node is not none do something okay so basically what this means is keep looking until the end of the node if the end of the node is achieved well then stop you, there is no need to look any further because you've already investigated the whole tree okay so that's what this while loop means now if value that I'm passing in the 20 that I'm checking or whatever value that I'm checking for its existence is smaller than current node dot value okay it is smaller than the 10 then I go left okay what if it is the other way around, around? current node dot value well simply we go right okay okay what if it's neither what if it's neither larger or smaller well in that case we found it 
okay? So these are the three cases we're going to be dealing with. If it's smaller, if it's larger, and if it's exactly right. So if it's exactly right, that's simple. We're just going to return true because we actually found it, right? But if it's not, we're just going to keep looking, okay? So how do we go left? Well, we go left here by doing this current node equal current node dot left. What this does here is that it basically gets the next node. In this case, it's node two, and it moves on to the next node, the next object. It links them together, right? If we want to go right, we do the same thing. Current node dot right. Okay. And this is how it works. Okay, so now we have a way for uh, ch uh, looking for it and uh, checking if it's true. Well, since this keeps checking until it's uh, none, if it is not uh, present, then sooner or later we're going to have to break out of this loop. So we return false. And that's it. That's how we do it. So let's uh, let's check really quickly how this works. Okay. So let's say um, node one. Let's, let's make it. Let's give ourselves some room here. So let's say node one dot find. I would say let's say two hundred. We want it to be false. Okay. Okay, so 200 isn't present. Twenty one isn't present. How about ten? Is ten present? Yeah, it is. Okay, how about um fifteen? Is fifteen there? Yeah, it is. And that's basically how you do it. That's uh how you uh search for a value inside a binary search tree. That's it.